get a bird's eye view of this race. This should be a good one. Driver's ready. Turn marshal's ready. Walnuts don't take anyone out. We're going at the sound of the tone. Oh, no, no, it's still on there. No, there it goes. So that didn't last very long, but it's Walnuts out front. Mike in the two, Kevin in the three, Liz in the four, Jerry in the five, Lee in the six, Scott in the seven. Six car freight train down the straightaway on their second lap here. Mike taking the lead back. Kevin Smith getting a hold of the track now. Coming out and racing with us here in the number three spot. He's looking to the inside of Walnuts. Walnuts with the Bulldog. Kevin with the Punisher. I'm a fan of the J Concepts bodies myself. Walnuts swears by those four line Bulldog bodies. So, let's see what can happen. As Mike and Van runs the uh, standard Losey body on his media car. Looks like Blodgett now. Oh my god! Walnuts, hold on to it there, buddy. Walnuts dropping back to the four spot now as he gets wild on the straightaway. It is all going to be McMahon out front. Jerry in the two. Mitch in the three. Walnuts in the four. Kevin Smith in the five. Scott in the six. Lee in the seven. 130 down and 530 left to go. Launching onto the straightaway is Walnuts and Mitch with Jerry there as well. Jerry in the two, not quite as punched as the two behind him though. Walnuts, oh, God, Mitch, that's the exact same way he passed me. That rat bastard. Mike McMahon leading this one out though. Fast guy on the track is anybody's guess. Walnuts is showing with an 18-8. No, Jerry with an 18-7. I believe it's going to be the fast lap of the race as well. So it takes over the number two now. Jerry back to the three. Mitch in the four. Two minutes down, three to go. It is the Mugen out front, the Associated into the Losi. The Losi, the Associated, followed by another Losi. And an off the Hyper 9 here in Expert 8 scale. Leader through the center, the all green, black wing, yellow wheels, bottom stripe, 445 left to go. Mike McMahon putting her around out there. Walnuts rolling over at the line. Jerry catching an edge through the woods. Jerry though still in that number two spot, getting waved on by the fans. Down the straightaway goes Jerry. He's about, no, I'm going to say about four or five behind the leader at this point. McMahon out front. McMahon catches the edge in the whoops, in the whoops, in the whoops. Here comes Jerry. Jerry out to the top spot now by less than a second. Jerry sending it down the straightaway. Mike sending it down the straightaway. Walnuts. Mitch and Kevin are top five. There were three down and four to go. I hear Gonzo screaming, punch it. I'm not sure who's screaming it too. I'm going to guess Walnuts maybe. Walnuts definitely punching it onto the straightaway. But it is Jared Blodgett from Team Rosie Racing out front. Mike McMahon from Extreme RC Cars in the two. And Walnuts from OCRC in the number three. Miss Trafford from Dell Computers in the number four spot. We got Kevin Smith, a uh, uh, hobby shop manager from West Coast in the number five spot. Reader Bell from Back of the Track Racing in the six. And Scott Atkins from Rosie in the number seven. Halfway done here, 3.30 down, 3.30 left to go. The leader down the straight, two down the straight. Here comes three coming on to the straight. Scott and Walnut saying who can punch it farther on to the straightaway, but it looks like Scott actually won that one. Jerry rolling it over and banging his head. Walnut's by for the number two spot. Whoever that little kid is in the D.C. shirt, he has got some skills. Turn marshalling out there. Three minutes left to go, three to go. Mike with a comfortable lead now. Walnuts in the two. Jerry in the three. Mitch in the four. Looks like Kevin drops back to the five. Last time by fastest out there was Walnuts the 19 flat. Mike with a 19 flat as well. Walnuts that time though 20.6. Gonna lose a second and a half to Mike McMahon. Kevin Smith looks like getting along. They're gonna get back on the right side of the track and back underway. Still on the five. 2.30 left to go. 2.30 to go. Walnuts and Jerry do battle. Jerry goes inside, Walnuts goes outside, down the straightaway. 
It is the all white in the two, the all yellow in the three, the all green in the number one spot. Battle is for the two though, with two minutes left to go on and through the chicane on two wheels. Jerry through the ropes on the pipe. Here they come though, Jerry. Oh, two punch baby, sending it down the straightaway. Walnut's getting out of there clean. He's got a decent lead now over Jerry in the two. Walnut's in the two, gets it wrong, almost off the track. Chapman has to check himself. Walnut's driving punch. Jerry driving punch. A minute 30 left to go. 90 seconds left. That's going to give him about nine more laps. I don't know. Someone driving too fast. That's the smell of tailpipes burning. 115 left to go. Still cries of punch it. Coming from Gonzalez as Walnuts tries to hold off the charge of Blodgett. Atkins there behind Walnuts. See if Atkins can't maybe throw a monkey wrench in the gears of Nick Walnuts' program. One minute left to go. Jerry pirouetting through the whoops, and that's going to seal the deal for Jerry. That's going to be the nail in the coffin, and that one right there is going to be the nail in the coffin on the back of the camel with the straw that broke his back. Forty-five seconds left to go. Thirty seconds left to go. Now this race is pretty well wrapped up. The only thing that could happen is maybe Mike McMahon rolling her over, which I don't see happening. He's got one more lap to. Oh my goodness! Woo! Jerry finds himself on the wrong side of the pipe, and that was almost doomsday for Mike McMahon, but five seconds left to go. All he has to do is keep it rubber side down, and he will take the win. Walnut's too far back at this point to capitalize. Mitch in the four spot there. Doesn't necessarily need to give room to Walnuts, but he will. That is a race. Mike McMahon taking the win. Walnuts finishing in the two. And Jerry the three.